Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing Ripper. So in the previous episode, we've come into this, uh, we've come into some information, take a look at places we can go to, seen Magnata and his interrogation methods, and we've also found some bugs that were hidden in Catherine's apartment that we utilized to, um, bug Magnata and, and Burton's offices. It shows her two of the people that she believes may be involved with this. She also believes possibly that Falcon Eddie um, might be a part of it. So, in her office, in the doctor's office, I happen to find some documents. One is a prescription pad, which is signed. I don't know what that's about, but I'm sure I could utilize this for something. And she had... There it is. Notes on her table. Reminders for the immediate future. Now that Ripper case has been dumped at my front door, send encoded e-memo to Rhodes soon. Rhodes, Rhodes, Rhodes. George Rhodes? The loan officer? That's a Rhodes I have. Interesting. Anyway, keep Magnata out of the Metacog and away from Powell. A maniac uh, brought her here for a reason. What does he know? I have to take control of this situation. And that would indicate something. They're really trying to point you in his direction. I refuse to believe it's him just because they keep pushing so hard that it could be him. You know. Don't forget regular gym appointment. Okay. Have to keep Joey out of this. That's the move Magnata expects me to make. Uh, it could incriminate us both. Okay. I need to examine Renee Stein's body after Farley after Farley leaves, like after he's left, or get rid of him. I've got to keep a lid on Farley. If he begins to dig too deeply, something will have to be done. You see, I know she may be uncovering her own butt for other purposes, but a lot of that indicates heavily that she's involved. I'm telling you. But then again, with my logic from before about uh, Magnata, maybe she's not. <laughs> All right. Anyway, she was at the gym, so let's go ahead and see if we can catch her there. Maybe find some more information. Also, see if she can tell her, uh, point us in the direction of this this person that wrote this book for her, the doctor. I'm assuming there's a school or something in this game where that's located. Pop this disc in here. Make sure it's smooth. Make sure it's flush. And continue. Oh, it still takes a minute to read off of it. I always thought, I figured if I waited a few seconds, it would catch up. Whew. I tell you, I need to turn the heat on in my home. It's starting to get cold weather. Hello, gymnasium. It's like her walking right there. She's like, this motherfucker is about to disrupt my gym day. Hello. You here to join up? Not a moment too soon from the looks of you. Oh, uh, Interested bam, bam. in weights, aerobics, racket sports. Personal tip. Start slow. Thanks. What do you know about that woman over there? Claire Burton. Dr. Burton? She's been running 10 miles every other day for years. Real serious. In and out. No chit-chat. Runs the uh, Victorian London course on the treadmill. Uh huh. Do you keep records of all your numbers here? Not really. The uh, terminal on the counter has some information if you're interested. Are you interested? She hitting on me too? Jesus, want to find some fucking information. You should check out the Juice. club shop, or do you plan on working out in that overcoat? Huh. Uh, the overcoat. I was definitely working on that overcoat. Let's see what we can find in the information. Silver's Gym. Uh... Oh, lordy, okay. Gigi Flowers. Employee of the Mantis Zippers. Notifying case of injuries. Skip. Flowers. Relation to client uncle. Claire Burton. There we go. Tri Tribeca Medicog and uh, Civ Center. Yes, she has insurance. Notified Joseph E. Falconetti. Really? 
Relation to client spouse. Really? Well, at least on record, anyway. Were they married at one time? Interesting. Huh. I want to skim, skim through these here real quick and see if there's anything interesting or funny. <laughs> That's not... Nothing else, all right. Interesting. Thank you. That little piece of information will come in handy. So that was must be what she meant when she said that she's got the hots. Or he said that she has the hots for her. Him. Him, her, are you? Let's go around and see if I can go bother her while she's in a run. Ruin her fucking day. Don't you act like I'm not here. You run, Quinlan. You Hold don't. First story. You're making me nervous standing there in that coat. What do you want? <laughs> hey, she's not running. She's definitely uphill climbing. And why is she wearing leather pants? <laughs> anyway. Uh... So you used to be married to Eddie. I mean, somehow I can't picture you two together. Took you long enough, Quinlan. Biggest mistake of my life. How long did it take to figure that out? About five minutes. Six months for the lawyers. Fifteen years to forget. How long were they really together, though? Anyway. Why are you obstructing Powell's treatment? I'm not. I know what I'm doing. Eddie may be a genius, but he's crazy. If your girlfriend dies because of him, it'll be my fault. It does make sense. What's up with you and Magnata? He brings me patients, throws his weight around the hospital until I throw him out. That's our relationship. Well, I hear there's more to it than that. He's a man with a grudge. A grudge against who? Who do you think? All of us? Is that woman virtual exercising back there? She's <laughs> got a VR helmet on. <laughs> Why was Farley fired? Farley was fired? You didn't know? No. I didn't. No, I like, like Farley. Can... He was a good pathologist. Well, don't you find it mildly interesting that they fire him in the middle of the most celebrated murder investigation the city's ever known? Yes. Doesn't make things any easier. You're still not telling me something. Didn't it occur to you that I stormed out of the ICU for a reason? Oh. I don't want to talk to you, Quinlan. I think you stormed out because you had an appointment to keep. But, you know, whatever. Alright, lady. Well, thank you for your time. Let's see where else we can go. Hey, university did go here. Let's go to the university. We have that information for a book. I didn't think we'd actually have that. I figured we'd have to like talk to somebody to get that. Nope, nope. Just, just fucking go to the university. <laughs> I always gotta double check to see if there's anything in a circle around here because these turn things make you go left and right. There needs to be a back button to do a turn around when they want to. That. You know, it would be a little bit easier. Hmm. I'm gonna check this door first. Oh, that is the one I wanted. Professor L. Beck or Betch. I expect you in my office tomorrow with your work completed, Mr. Wendell. Good day, Mr. Wendell. Choho Wendell? Yes. Excuse me, Professor Beck. I'm a reporter for the Virtual Herald. You have a few minutes? That's how many I have exactly. A few. What can I do for you? Hmm. Do you remember a student of yours named Claire Burton? The only student I ever encouraged to leave school. 
Why do you ask? You advised a student to leave school? Frankly, this place had nothing to offer her. It was my feeling that it could have even restricted her development. But I repeat, why do you ask? Well, she's, um, she's taking care of a friend of mine. And some of her colleagues think that her treatment is a bit unorthodox. <laughs> I have no doubt it is. She wouldn't look at things the way most surgeons do. It's what makes her so creative, so innovative. <laughs> this woman, I she feel like this woman's a actually a doctor. About it. They just grabbed well, for this. She's quirky, all right. I certainly remember that about her. Some very unusual predilections indeed. But that's often a mark of genius. Unless Claire has changed drastically in the years since I've seen her, you have no need for concern. Not really. Not Thanks. really concerned. I just information. What about Falconetti? Was a man named Joey Falconetti a student of yours? No, but I remember him well. He was an astonishing cyber surfer. But he was more interested in pretty assistance than in any genuine original thought. Did he have a um affiliation with Claire Burt? By affiliation, I assume you mean did she have an affair with him? I couldn't say. She may well have found his air of danger sexually appealing, and she was certainly aggressive intellectually. I'm sure she went after him to challenge his skills, see if she could prove herself superior. Who knows? The web runners may even have been her idea. The what? The web yeah, runners. I was like, what? It was a gaming club of some sort. It was cutting edge. Claire and Falconetti were among the founding members. In fact, when she left school, Claire seemed to do little else. She virtually disappeared. Does this club still exist? I mean, where can I find them? Literally like children with Too virtually. Clubhouse. All I know is that they post notice of their meetings on the bulletin board out in the hallway. They usually encode the information, however, hiding it amongst the flyers and announcements posted there. Something about arranging those flyers in the proper order will form a sentence revealing where and when the runners plan to meet. That's a lot of information there. Do you know anything <laughs> about a policeman named Vince Magnata? Claire used to mention him. Apparently, he had quite a temper. That's it? Okay. Well, thank you for your time, lady. I'm sorry. I've told you everything I know about Claire Burton. You're taking time that belongs to my current student. Student? You teach one person at a time? Alright, lady, let me go check that bulletin board. Thank you for the information. Web runners, huh? Hmm. Web runners, see? Uh, let's see. This bulletin board? More puzzles to solve just to be able to do simple shit. Professor Althor. I guess I'm not going that way. Boop. So the location of the web runner's loft is hidden somewhere on this board. Oh, I was gonna say, like... Like how? <laughs> Attention runners. Founders Day... Uh, 5k. I can barely read that. I have to read it on this one down here. Commemorate uh, to commemorate uh, the NYU Founders Day by run uh, by a run through the Warren's Tofu Burgers, high protein shakes, Vita Juice, and, and Mace Bombs provided for all entrance shirts for first 50 entrance. Okay. Dragnet Film Festival starring Jack Webb, Harry Morgan, and. Pocket Hall, 6.30, Saturday, tickets. Inconceivable, outrageous, big-time performance theater. A game Con, 2040, gamers' confluence, huge convention, RPGs, flight sims, and network flight sims. <laughs> At one point, that was a thing. That was, the, like, the biggest thing. And network multi-sims. Don't miss it. Email info is Astro86. Gearing up for 2041, yearbook staff do brawling between the advertising and layout staffs. The staff of the NYU ER of the NYUer uh, will be meeting at a new address at it. Can't see it. Learn, grow, make a difference. Be a vis be a Vista volunteer. Help to rebuild the Warrens, provide an alternative to gang life, earn money for college, pad your resume with worthwhile humanitarian efforts. And I'm jealous of how jealous of how professional your classmates' papers look. I will hollow record your term papers. Thirty dollars for a megabyte pass fast turnaround professional results. Laura Witt. Okay, so what is this saying? 
the way it's laid out. Oh, I didn't see this one. How did I miss this one? I missed two. What the fuck am I doing? Boy, I just jump all around in here, didn't I? Kegger, Zoo House, Saturday, Beer. Nootropics on demand. Vassal present. Take some. Take home some memories. Girls, boys, girls and boys. For rent, a former warehouse converted to a loft apartment. Cool. Seven seven five five five. And as for Paco, serial forty two. Eighty six. I wonder if all these numbers mean something. Okay, so, what if we did four, fourteen, four, oh shit, okay, let me ask this one, four, fourteen, four, fourteen, four, no, that's, where's forty-two at? Forty-two? Oh, it's a light one. Okay, 4, 14, 42, 86. Maybe I actually have to do something with these. Let me see this again. We had five of these documents, right? We had five numbers. So we have five flyers. So that's that one. What's this other one? 86 was one of them. It's kind of hard to see it, but it's almost like it says Web Runners. New address at the new address at a former warehouse. Is that the order of events? 4, 50, 14, 42, 86. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> Hopefully, it shows me something. I fiddled with that way too long. Hmm, no, maybe not. Oh, I just had to keep them Got from it. touching each other. I hope the web runners don't mind a visitor. I knew I wasn't crazy. Like it says, web runners. The new address at, and then it's blocked off. A former warehouse converted to a loft apartment. On Gramercy Street all this month. That's the closest thing to an answer it could possibly have been. Good lord, but I wrote down the order of those numbers too to help out, so hopefully that'll be good to go. Maybe now we can go check it out. Man, made that harder than it needed to be. Yep, knew it. Number code system too. Code. We're gonna go with what did I write down? Four, five, Zero. Uh, excuse me. One, four, four, two, eight, six. I broke our bottles. To web surfing here, lady. Assuming all I gotta do is turn around. It's the only one here. It's not much of a convention. Or this is just the place they all meet up to hang out. I wouldn't get too close to a person in VR, man. It's a good way to get punched right in the face. Hey, man, what the fuck? Where's the 7th Cavalry? Who are you, man? You almost gave me a stroke. I was doing the Custer Sim. And I was the only Korean Indian, and I had Goldilocks by the throat. This won't take too long, honey. I just need to ask you a few questions. Make an appointment with my secretary. I'm going to tell you what I've been going through lately. Hop along. I've been playing tag with a serial killer and ruining my shine by walking through his victim's guts. My girlfriend's in a coma, and the next time the Ripper kills, it could possibly be yours truly. So fuck your cartoons! <laughs> okay. okay. Fine. Now, let's talk. A woman named Claire Burton. Used to be a runner. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. I mean, I don't know her. I know who she is or who she was. She was one of the first, a proto-runner. We care about our history, man. 
You've got to know where you've been to know where you're going. Wow. Interesting. So, what do you know about her? I just know who she is. I've seen her pictures hanging on the walls in here. You can see them yourself. Hmm. hmm. Do you know anything about a guy named Falconetti? Every runner's heard of the Falcon. He's a legend on heels. Before he was a runner, he fracked with a gang called Era 33. <sighs> Falconetti was a 33. Okay. Was he part no, of this me, TRW thing? Story is, he masterminded it. Core overwrite. Took out the credit record of every adult on the East Coast. The cops never got him. They say he's still out there, waiting to strike again. No, well, he's out there, but he ain't doing nothing. Ever hear of Vince Magnata? Sounds familiar. You'd have to grab the runner's archive well to see if that guy means anything. Hmm. Archive well? Thank you. How can I access the runner's archive? Never actually been there myself. It's for senior runners only. I know the address. It's at Anachrony Station. You're on your own with the ice, though. It's a bitch. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you for your time, lady. You can go jack off or jack on or whatever it is you're gonna do. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Pictures. Love from Anachrony Station. Uh -huh. Assuming that was the three of them. Unless there's more pictures. But I'm missing somewhere. Not really a lot of locations I can fiddle with here, so... Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. That's all I can tell you, man. That's a look of I've definitely got some more shit to tell you, but I'm not, I'm holding it back, or I've been told not to. Interesting. Alright, lady, well, thank you for your time. Anachrony Station. Is it on here? No, okay. Not a place I can go yet. Maybe it's uh, online, like I've got to go to my my newsroom thing and, and, and try it out there. That's my, my personal deck to jack on and off with. <laughs> jack off. What you got for me, Ben? Might as well pop in here and say hello every once in a while. You never know what kind of information he has. Probably nothing. I feel like I've talked to him. Oh, no, he's sitting differently. Quinlan? I hope you have a story ready to roll. I'm working, I'm working. Alright. Do you have any background on Falconetti and Burton? I don't know everybody in this city. <laughs> I thought you did. Hmm. Excuse me. Ben, you ever hear of Gambit Nelson? Yeah. That was another one I gave her. Don't you guys ever share sources? <laughs> no, apparently not. Why do you think someone would want to kill Wofford? What do you care? The Ripper story is not enough for you? It is, but I'm also trying to do other stuff, buddy. Mm. You don't look so good, Quinlan. Don't go tearing yourself up over Catherine. She's in good hands. You know, it'd be hilarious if uh, if uh, Ben here, Ozzy Davis, was the Ripper. That would be very unexpected. Almost ridiculous. Or like Paul Giamatti feeling unappreciated. Or the, the taxidermy. I mean the taxidermy. The, um, oh, what was his name? Farley. 
Farley, the uh, the guy who worked in the morgue. Like, there's a, a lot of factors and possibilities. It really could be anybody, so they're not wrong on that. Um, but I think I'm going to hold off before I jump into the internet. We're going to take a look around and see what we can find on the interwebs. Um, on the, uh, whatever they call it, and check some wells. See if we can break in and find some more information there. As it seems to jump us back and forth as needed, so... Uh, but I believe that our next step is probably to be exploring here. So, But I hope you guys have been enjoying, and if you have, then I will see you all in the next episode of Ripper. Have a great day. Oh, hey. I see that you guys are done with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, you can see another one over here on the right-hand side. And, of course, we've also got one on the left as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.